What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back. We do fun things here and today we are doing butterfly we're doing crochet butterfly locks. So if you didn't already know, I have two butterfly lock videos on my channel. One of them is a butterfly lock tutorial and the other one of them is five things that you should know about butterfly lock. So before you get into this, go ahead and watch that video so that you can see which one's better for you, the crochet butterfly locks or the do-it-yourself butterfly locks and you can get all the info there. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here in the card above for you. Okay, you guys, so first of all, I like to thank Bobby Boss for sponsoring this video, for sending me the butterfly lock crochet here. So before we get into the tutorial of how I put the butterfly locks in, what method I used, and as well as all of the specs in terms of how many packs I use and what I think about the hair, let's just get into the actual hair itself. So first of all, this hair is 24 inches long, very long, I'm 5'7", and it's reaching me um, waist length, past waist length. So I love that, I love how long it is. And also, this is actually in the color two, or at least that's what it says on the pack. However, this is a very, very dark um, color two, so if you're someone who likes really dark hair, um, you can definitely go with the number, the number two, because I see actually no difference between this, like a 1B that I usually get, and the two. And each pack comes with 10 individual pieces of butterfly locks. The butterfly locks come in two lengths, 18 inches and 24 inches. So the actual pattern of it is almost a mix, to be honest, of like a passion twist and a faux lock, kind of. Um, it has these nice twirls in it and, you know, no particular... Um, uniformity to it you can see there's kind of some bumps and curls and that's kind of what helps it look a little bit more authentic and then at the very bottom here you'll see that it actually um has that locked end like a like a traditional um dreadlock okay you guys so let's get into the actual tutorial so you can see exactly how i installed this my braiding pattern all the good stuff let's get into it Okay, as you can see, I had my single twist in the front pulled up and then my crochet braiding pattern in the back. It's not the neatest, it's not the best looking, but it doesn't matter, it's gonna get covered. And we'll address that braid bump at the top left corner later on. Anyways, so all you're gonna need for this is a mirror and a crochet needle. This is not a how to crochet tutorial, but just more so to show you how I crocheted these uh, butterfly locks on my hair personally. So I always start at the bottom left corner, like always, and then Obviously, just attach the hair to the crochet needle and go from there. If you'd like a tutorial on how to crochet, I'll leave a link right here in the card so you can see it. Now, these twists are super duper long, 24 inches, just as I said. Um, but we're going to keep going with this, and I have a quick tip coming up for you. Okay, so right about here, I am struggling with the crochet loop. If you've ever crocheted your hair before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes it's hard to get... Uh, your finger through that loop so what I actually do is take a rat tail comb put it through the loop and I can I can actually widen it like this stretch it out and make it much easier and with this one you can actually pull it down and it gets much bigger so that's a quick tip now right at this point here it's a checkpoint I use four packs of hair and this is how covered my hair is so pretty covered actually very very impressed with how much just four packs was able to cover on my head Okay, and here we are with a five pack checkpoint and that covered the whole back half of my hair. So I was really happy about that, really impressed. There's that braid bump at the top left corner that I fixed later, so just kind of ignore that. But that was the end of my braiding pattern there. So anyways, let's get into how I attach the hair to the individual twist. Now, this one right here is super big. That's a big twist, but you know what? That's fine. We're going to get through it. <laughs> so I'm going to put my crochet needle at the base of the hair. And this is really, really simple, you guys. I'm going to grab my crochet lock or twist. Um, and I didn't widen the hole on this one. So you can see I'm kind of struggling to open it and get it through. But that's fine. Once you do get it open, go ahead and put it on the crochet needle. Close it. Pull it through. Oh. Pull it through. Oh, no. <laughs> Pull it through without it falling. Actually, actually latch it on your hook. <laughs> Pull it through and then you're going to get your twist and the crochet hair through that loop. Okay, so not just the crochet hair, but your twist or your hair 
and the crochet here as well and go ahead and put it through that loop. And then after you do that, you're gonna tighten it. Okay, and at this point, I know it seems too good to be true, but what you're actually gonna do is just twist your hair with the crochet here in the same direction that the twist is going. That sounded complicated, but it's not. Just go twist your hair in the same direction that the twist is going. So um, you'll see me kind of lean in to the mirror a couple times just to make sure that it's twisting in the same direction, but that's all you're gonna do. And then when you get down to the bottom, you're actually just gonna open the crochet here just a little, just stick your finger and make a little hole. And then you're gonna take the end of your hair, you're gonna put it through and boom, you're done. And it's in and it's over. So obviously keep in mind, depending on the type of crochet hair that you're using, um, twisting your hair around the crochet hair like this won't work for every single style, but it works for me with a lot of styles. So don't be intimidated to try it. That way you have some versatility with how you style your hair, singles in the front without doing singles along your whole head. And I completely love, you know, the versatility of that. And so here I go counting out how many packs of hair I used. I just saved the tags from the pack so I can remember. So I used almost eight packs, seven and a half. Not even each pack comes with 10 pieces of hair and I was left with six pieces in that last pack of hair. So these don't look exactly like butterfly locks to me because butterfly locks look more like a faux lock. These look more like a passion twist, but I understand why they can be called butterfly locks because butterfly locks are known for those loops that they have. So either way, it's a really cute crochet style. So a lot of the times when I do tutorials on here and I do the individual method where I twist my hair and then I twist my hair with the locking hair as you saw the tutorial people in the comments are like you you know that's not gonna stay or like whatever i've been doing this with several different styles and it works every single time and it worked with this you can see um how it looks here in the front i think that it looks pretty good and it looks almost like a twist up here and then when it gets down here it's a little bit more free so feel free to do that um that method if you like like you don't need to be intimidated by the style you don't think that you need to jump through hoops to get it done you can twist up your own hair like in a mini twist and you can literally wrap your own hair around it and stick it through that's why i've done this so many times so just trust me when i tell you it works it stays you know, nothing really goes wrong unless you get your natural hair wet and, you know, it starts to curl up or something like that. But it works for me every single time. Okay, you guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Please let me know. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I will respond to you super quick, as fast as I can. Usually in less than 24 hours, you will get an answer to your questions. So if you have any questions about, um, you know, DIY butterfly locks or particularly about these crochet butterfly locks, please let me know and I will definitely, definitely get back to you as soon as I can in the comments. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're gonna try these, let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. I'm thinking about possibly cutting them after maybe two weeks or so, uh, just to like change up the hairstyle and get some versatility about halfway through. But anyways, you guys, that is my butterfly lock. That is my crochet butterfly lock um, tutorial and video for you guys. Please, if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because it's free, it's fun, and it's fast. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.